The Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle is a unique and very powerful weapon system, but it has a lot of quirks that need to be explained and mastered. It's armed with a 25mm cannon, 7.62 machine gun, and tow missile launcher. The 25mm cannon has two different ammo types, one armor piercing, the next being high explosives. And in this video, we're going to go in depth into this weapon system and explain how to use it on the battlefield. And if you enjoy military strategy, tactics, and doctrine, I guarantee this is the channel for you. So like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going over the M2 Bradley's weapon systems. All right, this is an infantry fighting vehicle and you'll primarily be using it on assaults, defense, as well as recon missions. So if we hit the F3 key, we'll find ourselves back in the commander's view. And then we're going to hit the shift key and we're going to spend a majority of our time looking down this gun sight, as you can see. And then we're going to discuss its weapon systems, how to use them, how to illuminate the sights, the thermals, and overall some weird quirky things that are more specific to the Bradley. As you can see that 12 at the bottom of our screen means they're ranged at 1200 meters. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the scroll wheel and we're going to zoom in. And you can see that, that little triangle that says 0.5, 1, 2, and 3. That's how we would range our targets in the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. And then if we wanted to reduce or increase our range, we would use the page up and page down keys. See, if we hit page down, we go down to 1,000 meters. And if we hit page up, we go up to 1,200. And obviously, it can go higher and it can go lower. So initially, we're just going to start at 1,200 meters. And we are going, or 1,000 meters. And we're just going to engage this first target right here with our armor and piercing rounds. And these are have a tungsten core, so they're going to have increased penetration. And we're going to increase our range just slightly to 1100 and just like that our shots are on target then another part of the weapon system is that we have high explosives so unlike tanks it generally swaps back and forth instantly between your two weapon types so let's say you're facing down a tank right here and you put a few rounds down range with the high explosives and you want to instantly switch to the armor piercing it's going to do the exact same thing and just like that it's going to put some rounds down target and penetrate that T-55's armor. A few things to make note of is that if you like do like a small burst, like a burst of three, two, three, you can see that they're not all accurate. Like if you compare it to the tanks, the tanks generally fire directly where they're aiming. Whereas if you do like a burst of three, they kind of land all around that target. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is the 7.62 machine gun. So the coaxial machine gun currently range at 1100 meters. And as you can see, it's falling just a bit short and the same thing with that let's say we bring it down to like 500 it's just going to bring the sights back up and we can walk it up a little bit and as we increase our range with the page up page down key we can see that there it is we had a few targets but we went too far as we walked it up that is your 762 machine gun obviously you can zoom out and have the same effect with that and it's generally going to go right towards the middle of that site so we bring this down to like 500 and you can listen to it. All those rounds are just on the faceplate. And then the, another thing we're going to talk about is the tow missile. So if we should hit the bracket key one more time. One more time, we now have our tow missile. This is one of the things that's a bit unique about this weapon system. So let's say we go back to our armor piercing rounds. We have that little black cross in the middle. As you can see, if we zoom in and we hit the T key for thermals, it primarily zooms us back out. And then if we zoom in again, we get our sight back. So that's one thing, to, that's another one of the quirky things about the M2 Bradley. So let's say we had our thermals turned on and it immediately rem removes our gun sight reticle. And in order to get that back, we need to use the scroll wheel and zoom in one more time. And our gun sight has returned, as you can see. So we turn our thermals back off with the T key. Everything functions as normal and the tow sight remains on it. But if we want to use our thermals, zoom out. And let's just say we switch to our tow sight automatically. And then let's put it on a target over here. We don't need to range this one. If we zoom in, as you see, it goes, the tow sight stays where it's located, but the primary um, gun sight does not return. And then if we hold, hold shift, and we hold the, the fire, and we're going to launch a missile down range, as you can see. All right. Let's say we drag up over to here, put another missile down range. 
So it is wire guided. So that's one thing to make note of. So once we reload, we're going to do that again. So we just waiting for it to reload. We're going to track that target right there. So what we would do is we would put the target in our sights, track a little bit, ho hold right click down. And it's just going to allow us to follow that target. Fantastic. Now let's go back to our regular fighting system. Zoom out, turn our thermals off with the T key. Zoom in. One thing to make note of is that the Bradley does not have automatic lead compensation. So if we try to engage this target right here at around 11,000 meters and we try to follow it, see how our bullets don't follow that target. So it doesn't have the lead compensation that the other weapon systems do. So it's just one of those systems that's a bit limited. All right, now we're going to go into a combat and we're going to demonstrate all of these weapon systems. In today's operation, our goal is to defend this village and then tactically withdraw from it. There is a section of T-55s and BMPs approaching our position. There's also heavy mortar fire that will begin falling on our location. And we have heavy mortar fire of our own. So if we hit the M key and bring up our map, we can begin designating artillery kind of at this crossroads right there. Then we're going to bring the map back down. We're going to attempt to get into a covered position and then engage the enemy as they come down this hill. As you can see, see the mortars begin to fall. We're a bit exposed, but I like where we're at. We're going to hit the shift key and we're just going to look for any targets that we can identify as they come down that hill. We're expecting three platoons. A BMP ones, they would be armed with ATGMs. We have our first sight if we zoom in. All right, we're currently in range for 1200 meters. All right, we're engaging a BMP-1, zooming back out, sweeping to the left, looking for targets as they continue to come down this hill. Identify what looks to be a T-55. We're going to engage that side armor. It looks to be mostly neutralized. We're going to switch to our tow missile see if we can eliminate some of these hostiles all right he's not neutralized we're tracking this target tow missile out going to engage right in that frontal armor reloading all right that one on the left hand side has been neutralized switching back to our ap rounds all right that one cooked off two more sections of bmp ones running down the hill all right one's quite close another target right there Holding the range at 1,200 meters. Going to hit the shift key, zoom out. Mortars are on target. And we just took a round straight to the face. Hitting the tab key. Hitting the tab key one more time to get into a working vehicle. T-55s are quite close, or BMP-1s. Let's see if we can move into position, get, tar get on target. And eliminate these last two platoons of BMP-1s. See if we can bring them to a complete halt. This one, this vehicle is currently in range for 500 meters. That vehicle's completely stopped moving. Sweeping left, looking for targets, seeing what we identify. There looks to be a BMP-1 moving slowly, or he's just rolling to a complete stop. We're gonna put a few rounds into that vehicle. And that's the end of this mission. Quick little defense mission. As you can see, lots of mortars, lots of practice with the M2 Bradley and overall just a turkey shoot. All right, guys.